I'd have felt a little sick. Why hadn't it you? Renato wondered if it wasn't cheaper to build bridges and stairs. Come in handy in a pinch. Zenobia thought the stone was evil. Was it? He longed to have it back. He'd felt so good killing ravens with it, and yet, he'd felt unclean ever since he'd touched it. She confused him. She'd made him want to be a better fox, and then she'd abandoned him, never telling him she was the Emperor's daughter, never contacting him since. Well, who was she to tell him the stone was evil? <sighs> Or chests anyway. Well, you could have quite a business doing that. Energy spheres. Easy to dodge, but why do they sting if you didn't pay attention? <laughs> Boy, some people were just liable to explode if you upset them. to her. Actually, it already did.
Leonardo checked to make sure his sword was still working. Yep. The scientist's toes were pointing arcane instruments at the stone and looking at it through prisms and reflections. Mine, said Renardo as he took back the stone. Then, a far speaker toad croaked in something like Zenobia's voice. Renardo, leave the stone with the toads. It will swallow your soul. You'll kill everyone you love. But Renardo had an army to lead, an empire to bring down.